Y'all ready to see who this makes some noise? Your host of the 2008 GT Awards, Formula Drift Champion Tanner Faust. Tonight at the GT Awards, we'll make one vehicle owner the envy of the automotive industry by having their vehicle inserted into the next edition of the Gran Turismo franchise. And the person who is responsible for making that decision is none other than the father of the GT franchise, Kazunori Yamauchi. SEMA is important to Gran Turismo because we have production cars and tuning cars within the game. It's crucial for us to know about the new trends in the market, so we come to SEMA each year to keep up with those trends. So let's, uh, let's get down to business here. Winner of the best European import is awarded to Robert Gall for its Volkswagen VW concept car. A round of applause for that machine. The GT Awards is really the epitome of the enthusiast car segment. It's a fantastic opportunity and everybody's going to be very passionate when they hear that we are one of the finalists. Because it's made by a manufacturer, the level of refinement is very high, the exterior and interior. Everything about it is very clean and complete. The winner of the best sports utility vehicle is awarded to John Wargo for his 1938 Chevy. It's very commendable that they put in that much work to rebuild something that old and to that quality. It's very clean throughout. I'm a big uh, PlayStation fan and my boy is too, so you know. If I could see this truck in the, in the GT game, it would just be unbelievable. The winner of the best Japanese import is awarded to Brian Filoteo for his 2007 Infiniti G37. This car is privately owned and you can really see the passion that's been put into the car. Everything has been custom designed. The exterior, the suspension, the engine. It's very different from something that a tuning manufacturer would make as a shop demo. I'm very surprised a private owner could get so far with the car. Knowing that I'm a category winner is awesome and it's an accomplishment here, especially at SEMA. It would be the coolest thing is to see your own car in a game that you always play. It's just overwhelming. Best domestic automobile is awarded to James Shipka for his 1967 Chevy Camaro Rally Sport. It looks like a regular car, but it's really not. The idea was to make a road race car that looked like a stock car, but had the key elements uh, of a race car. My exterior. The exterior is a fully stock car, but the interior is a full race car. When I got to sit in it, I felt like a 60s or 70s NASCAR driver. It's very cool that they would have a stock-looking exterior packed with the newest technology in racing. And the winner of the best hot rod was awarded to Jason Levine for his Factory 5 Racing 1933 hot rod. The last hot rod we saw was a kit, where you buy the frame, buy the body, and assemble it yourself. It's a very interesting business. The exposure would be huge. If we can get the car in GT, so many people play the game, so many people see the cars in the game, it could change the whole business. It's not just that the winning car gets into the game, it's, it, for me, it's the idea that everybody else gets to examine, play with, uh, have fun with the thing that you built. Everybody meaning millions and millions of people. It's got to be one of the ultimate things you could do for your car uh, as an enthusiast, I think. It would be a fantastic opportunity. I'm looking forward to tonight. Nervous more than anything. It would be uh, the peak of uh, 20 years of development of this car. We're all anxious. I think we might even skip dinner and just head over. The winner of this year's uh, GT Awards uh, for Best in Show goes to Brian Filoteo with the 2007 Infiniti G37. It's awesome. It's the greatest experience I've had in this whole SEMA. I mean, my kid's birthday is on this Saturday. What, what a greatest gift to say, hey, your dad's car is going to be in Gran Turismo. So I'm totally stoked about it. There were a lot of magnificent cars, each with its own exquisite qualities, whether that was its completeness, its beauty, or its historical significance. But the car that I finally selected was a car from which I really felt passion. 
The car was built by a single owner. That's very different than the previous winners of the GT Awards, who are usually tuning shops. In this instance, friends and supporters collaborated to realize the owner's vision. Once again, we love you, Seal. We love you, PlayStation 3. Thanks for having us.